Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Brett Kavanaugh casts deciding vote ends Ninth Circuit Court reign of terror on key issue. President Trump just got some great news as the Supreme Court, with Brett Kavanaugh casting the deciding vote, just ended the liberal Ninth Circuit Court's reign of terror. Trump has complained about the runaway court as it has blocked many of Trump's actions in the executive branch. The court went along partisan lines and came back with a 5-4 decision and a big victory for Trump. The 5-4 decision reversed the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals' earlier ruling. Thankfully, Trump's historic win and realignment of the courts is restoring sanity to America. The court sided with Trump and ruled that the U.S. government can detain immigrants with past criminal records without bond, for as long as needed, as they await deportation. The four judges who opposed the ruling did so vehemently which goes to show what was at stake in America with the 2016 election. It is common sense to hold a criminal who is not a citizen, especially one who is violent, in custody before we deport them. Thankfully, America made a wise choice in Trump. From CNN, the Supreme Court held on Tuesday that the government can detain, without a bond hearing, immigrants with past criminal records, even if years have passed since they were released from criminal custody. The case centered on whether detention without a bond hearing must occur promptly upon an immigrant's release from criminal custody or whether it can happen months or even years later when the individual has resettled into society. The statute says simply that the detention can occur when the alien is released from custody. The court voted 5-4 to four in favor of the government. In his opinion for the court, Justice Samuel Alito said that the immigrants in the case had argued they were owed bond hearings in order to argue for their release. Alito said that the law did not support their argument. Justice Brett Kavanaugh wrote separately to say that the ruling was based entirely on the language of the statute at hand. He said it would be odd to interpret the statute as mandating the detention of certain non-citizens who posed a serious risk of danger of flight but nonetheless allow them to remain free during their removal proceedings if the executive branch failed to immediately detain them upon their release from criminal custody. The court correctly holds that the executive branch's detention of the particular non-citizens here remained mandatory even though the executive branch did not immediately detain them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.